Good day Grade 12s. Welcome to this next lesson in trigonometry. In this lesson we're going to be looking at three-dimensional trigonometric problems. So we're going to use all our knowledge of what we've gained so far and look at using it and how to use it to solve 3D problems. So it says D is the top of the tower H. So let me find my pen. There it is. D is the to top of tower H. At its base is A. The triangle ABC lies on the ground and this is a horizontal plane. And grade 12s, if they haven't cut it in like this for you, I suggest you just put a little bit of pencil shading in just to help you get the impression of 3D because this is the ground here, okay? In it we have that BC, BC is B, angle DBA, D. B A is alpha, so that's alpha. Angle D B C is beta, and angle D C B theta. It says show that H equals B sine alpha sine theta, and then sine beta plus alpha. Okay, I mean beta plus theta. So first of all, do you agree we need to get into this triangle? Okay, where we've got the alpha and we've got the H, right? And we also need to be in this triangle where we've got sine theta and we've got that sine beta plus theta. So I want to show you a little trick. If I see a sine of beta plus theta, and I see that I've got theta and beta here, do you agree that that angle there is 180 minus beta plus theta? And the reason I'm thinking that is because I know that sine of 180 minus theta is equal to sine theta, and that's the general rule, right? So if I have got sine of 180 minus beta plus theta over there, it's going to end up back to sine of beta plus theta. So that's awesome. So now, if I look at, let's just change the color here. Yeah? If I look at this triangle, I'm going to be using this angle here. I want sine theta. I want this side. So my bridge is going to have to be dB. There's my bridge. And that's the line I'm going to try and get from this red triangle here. Okay, so we've got theta, which is opposite dB. We've got 180 minus beta plus theta, which is opposite little b, which is what we want as well. So awesome, so we can use our sine rule. So we can say sine theta over dB is equal to is equal to sine of 180 minus beta plus theta all over little b little b okay so do you agree that i can rearrange this now and i can say db over sine of theta is equal to little b over sine and this changes because your cast diagram if you look at it it's all stations to Cape Town 180 minus B plus theta is over here and sine is positive and it just becomes theta so it becomes sine of beta plus theta right so then I can take the sine theta to across and I go DB is equal to B sine sorry, sine theta all over sine of beta plus theta. Excellent. Now we are on, let me change color, we have now got this side. And if we go look at what we've got, do you agree we've got B, we've got sine theta and we've got sine beta plus theta. So what are we looking for? We're looking for sine alpha and H. So we're looking for alpha and H. So obviously then when we're using this triangle and here's where 3D gets tricky. This 
is vertical. This is horizontal. So that is actually a right angle as well. And you need to be able to see that, that that's a right angle as well. Which means we can use Sakatoa. We can use Sakatoa. So if we look at this, we've got this side, which is our part news. We want the opposite. So we're going to use sine, which we knew anyway, because look there, there's sine alpha. So we can say that sine of alpha is equal to opposite, which is H, over the hypotenuse, which is DB. Therefore, we can say that H is going to be DB sine alpha. But look, DB is all of this. So now all we do is substitute into there. So it becomes B sine theta sine alpha all over sine of beta plus theta and there you go wow not too bad eh let's look at another example it says in the figure alongside we've got q q r and s are in the same horizontal plane so look they've colored it in for us but if they don't then you do just to make sure you know which one's horizontal ps represents a flagpole so you could think of a little flag up there flying along that is perpendicular to the horizontal plan as shown here it says determine qs 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 in terms of alpha beta and x alpha beta and x so since this isn't a right angle triangle and we want this side and we've got two other sides you see we've got x and we've got beta and we've got alpha and we want the opposite side so if that's the case I'm again going to use my sine rule so I'm going to say what am I going to say I'm saying qs over sine of the angle opposite QS is going to be alpha. Sine alpha is equal to X over sine beta. Therefore, QS is equal to X sine alpha all over sine beta. Awesome. So now we've got alpha, beta, and X. Excellent. We've done that. Now let's change colors and let's go to that color there. It says, here's determined PS, PS, in terms of alpha, beta, X, and this here. But do you see that that, which is a capital, what is that, the capital theta, okay, is in this triangle here, which we know is a right angle triangle. So as soon as we see a right angle triangle, what do we do? We go back to Sakatoa. And we want PS, which is the flagpole, in terms of theta and all these things here. So what we wanted in terms of is theta and QS. So what is this? This is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side with respect to this angle. So that means that we're looking at tan. So tan of capital is equal to opposite, which is PS, PS over adjacent, which is QS. Therefore, PS is equal to QS tan of our capital Greek letter. Okay, therefore, but QS is X sine alpha sine beta. So therefore, we can substitute this into here and we can say X sine alpha tan capital Greek letter all over sine beta. And ta-da, we have finished. Let's check. Do we have alpha? Yes. Do we have beta? Yes. Do we have the capital Greek letter? Yes. Do we have X? Yes. Done. Right, grade 12. So that's how you do 
three-dimensional trig. Please see that it's actually almost identical to two-dimensional trig, so it's not that scary. Just color things in, and when I say color, I don't mean spending hours coloring them beautifully. Just shade a little bit, just so that you can see your two dimensions or your three dimensions, and then look for your bridge and work your way through. Please go practice. The more you practice this, the better you get, the easier it gets. Thanks, grade 12s. Have a great day.